What is up guys, it's Flea Squirt here, coming at you guys with another commentary. The gameplay is going to be a, a free-for-all on Terminal with my trusty intervention. I joined, the game had already started, and they were actually trying to boost, because I, I don't know why people are still boosting on Modern Warfare 2 when Modern Warfare 3 is out. And actually, that I'm um, today, this week, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Modern Warfare 3. It's actually Modern Warfare 3 versus Battlefield 3. Like, that's always been the big, the big argument, you know, before the games came out, everybody was like, oh, I'm going to get Modern Warfare 2 because it's going to get be better. Modern Warfare 3, my bad. Battlefield 3, no, better graphics and all this. So, I have played both games. I own Battlefield 3. I do not own Modern Warfare 3 yet. I will soon, though. And I'm just going to give you guys my opinion on it. So, Battlefield 3. I'm going to talk about Battlefield 3 first because that's just, that's a game I have a little bit more experience in. The pros and the cons about Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 is a very it's a very fun game, but it's also a very realistic game, which is why it's really difficult to compare Modern Warfare 3 with Battlefield 3. Because honestly, the way the the way the games are played and the way the games are made are totally different. The only honestly, the only thing they have in common is the fact that they're first-person shooters and that, you know, they're basically army games. But other than that, there's really not a lot in common with it. Battlefield 3, better graphics. Like that's just no denying that it uses a Frostbite 2 engine, which handles you know a lot better graphics. And I can vouch for it myself. You guys can look up any video. The graphics are amazing. Battlefield 3 has vehicles. There are no kill streaks. However, there are vehicles, tanks, uh, jets, and helicopters. Helicopters and jets are, you know, they're difficult to drive at first. It just takes a little bit getting used to. You know, there's cars, there's um, smaller tanks, 30 millimeter tanks, um, gunners, like, honestly, there's just an infinite amount of weapons and, you know, just vehicles and infinite possibilities as to what you can do with it. So that's something that's great. However, a couple cons, it's a tiny, you know, it has like just small glitches, nothing big, just small glitches every once in a while. Um, of course, you know, the game just came out a couple, like maybe, what, a month ago? month or two ago and you know it still has they're still working out the kinks and whatnot I'm sure Modern Warfare 3 has glitches as well and another con I guess would be that's the fact that it's you know more of a realistic game and it's actually slower pace it's it, you know it's gonna cause for some people to play a little more defensively which can be a recipe for camping which I mean you can you can easily get around that campers really are not hard to kill so that's just, I mean, if you're really, if you're running, you know, if you're somebody that likes to run and gun, um, Battlefield 3, it might not get you too far. You can run and gun on Battlefield 3, but it's going to be um, a little bit more difficult. Just, you know, a little bit. I mean, just the way the two games are played, Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 are, it's that Modern Warfare 3 is definitely, Modern Warfare have always been a run and gun game. It's just, you know, go get kills. You can be a one man army on Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, any Modern Warfare. You can be a one-man army, you can carry the team. Battlefield 3, however, is much, much, much more team-based. You have to... It's really next... It's basically impossible to win a game unless you're playing, like, squad, TDM. But other than that, it's pretty much impossible to, um... to win a game on your own. Like, you can't... If your team sucks, honestly, sorry to tell you, you're gonna lose. Now, that's just, you know, that's all I have to say about Modern Warfare 3. I mean, I don't really have much to complain about. Honestly, I love the game. I'm actually going to play it as soon as I'm done with this. And, you know, since I got it, I've loved it ever since. It's a little more difficult to uh, level up than any Call of Duty. But, you know, obviously, like I said, they're two different games. Modern Warfare 3. My opinion on Modern Warfare 3. I did get to play it, so I do have experience with the game. I got to about level 16. And what I can say... Actually, something that I forgot to mention about Battlefield 3 that I think is better than Modern Warfare 3 is the fact that it's dedicated servers. Everybody basically works on the same connection. If your connection is bad, then your connection to server is bad, so you're gonna lag. You're not depending on someone else's host. You know, if somebody else has shitty connection, it's not gonna affect you at all, which is wonderful. You don't have to worry about host migrations and all that, because the dedicated servers completely, you know, get rid of that. Modern Warfare 3, still the same thing with the host. You know, it'd be great if they could add that in, but we can dream. And and uh, Modern Warfare 3, leveling up, you have to level up to level 80 now, which I'm sure many of you know, Call of Duty enthusiasts, 
um, you have to level up to level 80 now to prestige which means that the lower levels are actually going to be really you know you can get through the lower levels actually fairly easy you can there's many ways you know to it's very really, it's fairly easy to get XP and it's fairly easier to play it's just you can you know running gun the same thing basically it's I've I've heard this before it's basically Modern Warfare 2.5 now a lot of people might not like Modern Warfare 3 because of the fact that it's so similar to Modern Warfare 2 and like the games before it because it's that people are used to you know when a different game comes out in a series you know they expect something revolutionary and you know Modern Warfare 3 is just kinda like I said it looks more like an expansion pack of um of, let's say Modern Warfare 2 let's like honestly it could be a DLC but it's still enjoyable nonetheless they added many new games new game modes they added uh, custom game modes which are really fun infections zombies things like that those were really fun the snipers are you know near perfect hit markers are at a minimal you know so if you're good at sniping this game is gonna be great for you and it's basically like most other it, uh, it really is just basically like most other call of duties it's it, I, I'm not gonna be like the first few times I raged. I'm not gonna lie. It's on Battlefield 3. It took me a little bit to rage because you know I understood it was a different game type, so I had to get used to it. Once I got used to it, you know I got good and I enjoy it. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3, I raged the first maybe hour that I played it. I'm not even gonna lie. It's just getting used to that whole host migration stuff. The you know relying on somebody else's connection. I mean, you really see the difference that somebody honestly the difference when you have a two bar. A three bar and a four bar is huge. Like, if you have a four bar and you go negative, you need some practice because honestly, the connection advantage is pretty ridiculous. But I understand if you guys might think I'm being a little biased towards Battlefield 3. Keep in mind, I do have more experience with the Battlefield series. Well, no, not the Battlefield series, just mostly Battlefield 3 because that's what I have right now. However, I did start my online gaming. If you guys have been with me since the beginning, I explained this. I did start my online gaming with Battlefield on um, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. So that, you know, that might have something to do with it. But either way, I still love the Modern Warfare. I still have the Call of Duty. It's going to get I'm going to play them all. Honestly, I have all three. Well, I have both Modern Warfare right now and Battlefield 3. And I'm going to be getting Modern Warfare 3 pretty soon. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my review, guys. Thanks for watching.